Let me give you a quick overview of our latest live stream, which teaches you how to generate PDFs directly in Drupal CMS. And that is thanks to the entity print module, which is pretty easy to configure and set up. So we start things off by checking out the module and simply installing it into a Drupal CMS site. Now you can set this up on Drupal core as well. And the first thing we do is we add in a view PDF link, which you can simply add as a formatter. So if we click on it, the module has been configured to preview the PDF. You can configure the module to automatically download the PDF, but in this case, it makes more sense to show the PDF. Now, if you wanna debug the markup, which is generated, all you need to do is add in a slash debug at the end. And this will show you the HTML, which will be then used to generate the PDF. So this is a great way of just debugging styling issues because you will have some styling issues, especially if your designs are pretty complex. Then we took a look at generating PDFs from views. So here in this section, I've got a button which is called view PDF. And then if I click on that, it will simply generate that view as a PDF. So if you have a large directory website where you want to output a table as a PDF, you could use entity print for that. And then we looked at how to generate PDFs of web form submissions. And that is thanks to a submodule called web form entity print, but you still need to have the entity print module installed. Now, once you've installed that submodule and you go into the submission, you can see this button download PDF. And if you click on that, you will be able to see a preview of the submission in a PDF format. Now, if you wanna learn all of this, check out our latest live stream, which is generating PDFs in Drupal CMS. And as usual, I have added a link to the module and also two issues to be aware of, including chapter markers. So you can jump into specific sections of the video. If you have any questions, please leave a comment.